Right. Uh, continuing our fish anatomy notes uh, today. Uh, and today we're going to talk about two things. We're going to talk about nervous system and we're going to talk about um, fins or some external adaptations that fish have. Um, fish nervous systems are nothing too complex. Um, three major brain parts would be fairly similar in um, at least presence as human uh, brain parts. They have the cerebrum, which is used for thinking and voluntary activities. Now, our cerebrums are obviously um, significantly larger than fish cerebrums are, proportionally speaking as well. Um, they have a cerebellum for coordination, just like humans. And then they have a medulla oblongata, which all the uh, um, Happy Gilmore fans in, in the room will uh, recognize. No, not Happy Gilmore, Waterboy fans in the room will recognize, my bad. Um, but those are you know, part of our, our, our human brain stem, and that controls all of, kind of those basic organs of a fish there. So anyway, um, moving on there, the one thing that they have that is unique is that fish have this lateral line system. And so it is a series of nerves that go along the fish's spine, and they um, can sense vibrations in the water with that. Okay, so as stuff's moving through the water, they have this sense that they can kind of feel that. And that would definitely be something that um, humans don't have there. So that is something in addition to what you and I would expect. Here's a look at exactly what a fish brain in particular species here looks like. Um, nothing too much, but you can see the different um, uh, lobes, just like the ones that we would have, um, a cerebrum, a cerebellum. There's that medulla or brainstem, even a pituitary gland. Uh, and here's a look at it if you dissect it out. Okay, so a little graphic there today, but there is a fish brain. Okay, so now you can say that, hey, I've seen what a fish brain looks like in there. So um, there's a fish nervous system for you. Um, other adaptation that we need to talk about are fins. Let me move my um, screen down there. Um, so fins, that is something else that fish have that we don't. It helps stabilize the fish and propel it forward. In addition, with the swim bladder, makes them just far superior to um, obviously humans in the water, but a lot of other species in the water too there. We're going to name those fins here next. Um, all fish are going to have these basic limbs. Limbs, that's not the right word, fins. Um, they might have, you know, a dorsal fin might come in two portions. You know, an anal fin then also might be, you know, split up or connected to different things, but these are their basic um, structures and things that you should know for uh, an upcoming uh, assessment here. So dorsal fin, that's the one on top. Think about a shark. That's the dorsal fin sticking up. Uh, it, its role or its function is balance and staying upright. So that's what that fin does. So if that fin is not working, the fish don't have struggle with balance and staying upright. The caudal fin which you and I might call the tail. That's the caudal fin. That's that big, powerful, um, the most muscular and powerful fin um, because it's going to, it's used for propulsion. So moving the fish forward. So it powers forward with that caudal fin. It uses the anal fin to, for also balance. So it's right underneath the dorsal fin. And those two things keep the fish from tipping left or right. And then the pectoral fin up by the chest and the pelvic fin are both used for steering. Okay, so those are fins that stick out. They have, there's pairs of them. They stick out on the sides and they're used for steering left, right, et cetera, as they're going through the water there. So um, like I said, those, those fins are not on there at random. They provide very specific functions for the fish and, and make them just the fantastic swimmers as they're moving. Operculum, gill cover, we covered that before. Um, here's a look at a trout in there. Um, fish also have a variety of other internal organs that, you know, we just, we just kind of skipped over here. Um, they have a heart, liver, intestine, stomach. Um, oftentimes if you are filleting a fish open, one of the biggest organs you might see are the reproductive organs. So if they're full of eggs, um, et cetera, in there as well. All right. Um, that should be, we're going to stop there today. It's short and sweet about fins and nervous systems.